have a developing story now out of Sierra Vista. A woman was killed and a man seriously hurt after a dog attack there last night. Sierra Vista police tell us it happened near Meadow Lark Drive in Calle del Norte. Right now, the man is in critical condition at a Tucson area hospital. 13 News reporter Catherine Patterson spoke with some neighbors near that attack happen near where the attack happened and shares more on how the community is coming together after this tragic event. Carson, the only words to describe the feeling in this quiet neighborhood are shock and grief. Residents tell me the entire ordeal was nothing short of traumatic, but the neighborhood is already working to put the pieces back together. I can't imagine something like that would happen in our neighborhood, and I know that sounds super cliche to say. Raquel remembers the experience piece by piece. Yeah, we heard gunshots, we heard people screaming, we heard dogs barking, we heard just a chaos of things, yeah. Sierra Vista police responded to a 911 call Friday evening to find 55-year-old Sam Sanchez Jr. being attacked by a dog. They later found 84-year-old Helen Jackson injured in an alley near the home as well. Her dog found dead near her body. Jackson later died at a local hospital. Unfortunately, there's going to be some scared kids and some scared adults that walk around these streets for a little bit. Experts say there are ways to help protect yourself from incidents like this. I'm always trying to be aware of my environment. If I see an unfamiliar dog coming forward towards me, I want to be able to look around my surroundings to say, if that dog is going to charge me, where am I going to take my dogs? Asta Zetsky says to watch an unfamiliar dog's body language to know what the next right step is. A dog is standing still and they're very stiff. Um, even if their tail is wagging in a stiff motion, I'm not going to go forward. That's telling me if a dog is even growling, if it's a soft growl, I'm not going to go forward because they're telling me something and I have to honor that. Liz says the events of yesterday don't change the way she sees man's best friend. When it comes to human life versus dog life, whatever, I get it. But um, it doesn't mean that all dogs act like that. It doesn't mean that we should all be afraid of that. The neighborhood has been handing out food and water to other residents to come together during this time. If you have any information about the accident, visit our website at KOLD.com to find the proper authorities to contact. Reporting from Sierra Vista, Katherine Patterson, 13.